no slang, no near native fluency. That's right, my friends. Oh, yes, it is. Living in a foreign country, it's, uh, it's something special, something good. But in order for you to say that you really speak a language natively, or practically natively, you have to do more than just being able to speak in formal ways, uh, using formal language. You also need to use informal ways of speech, swearing, colloquialism, slang. It's very important. Because if someone tells you to fuck off and die, you won't say, thank you, goodbye, right? So, there are a lot of people here in YouTube too, claiming that they do know this, they do know that, they know how to do this and to do that fluently and so and whatsoever. It might not be true. It might not be true. I can assure you, son, you guys only one thing. I speak practically native Spanish. Practically. Near native. It's not exactly native because uh, where can you draw the line? I'm speaking this language natively. Well... It's been almost 20 years since I started learning English, and my English is not near native. Figure it out. Figure it out. I thought it was, till last year or something like that, when I realized that it wasn't. So, my English is advanced, it's okay, but it's not near native. But there are a lot of people knowing much less, much, much less than what I know in, about English in whatever that might be the language, and they say, I speak it natively. So, if you say that you speak it natively, you need to know a lot of slang, colloquialism, proverbs, and whatsoever, because they're part of the language, of the living language itself. If you don't know slang, if you don't know how to swear, if you don't know colloquialism, if you don't know street talk, you're not near native. Not even if you, they signed you uh, and if you, you've done an exam or whatsoever. No, you're not near native. You will never be near native if you don't know slang. If you don't know colloquialism. It's not just uh, fuck off and die, motherfucker. If you don't know those two or three words and you say, yeah, I do know slang. That's not knowing slang. That's knowing the basics of whatsoever. And knowing the basics of whatsoever, my friends, that's way too easy. And that won't take you nowhere. Knowing how to say, fuck you, shit, and stuff like, stuff like that, that's nothing. That's nothing. You just, you Google it and you will learn it in 50 or 70 languages. When I say you need to know, to know slang, and not just slang, slang, colloquialism, and formal, informal ways of speech. That's what you need to do if you really know, if you really say that you're near native. Because um, there are a lot of people there on YouTube saying, I am near native in this, I do this, I do that. I don't know exactly if that is true. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. Um, I have my doubts. There are several polyglots there. Um, the thing is, people look at what they want to see. That's a uh, human condition. Everyone looks at Mike Campbell, aka Gusica. Everyone looks at Stuart J. Ray. But they live, la they live there, goddammit. What's so special about being near native when you've been li living in a country for... Uh, my, uh, Mike Campbell, I don't know, but uh, Stucci Ray, like 15 years or something like that. What's so special about speaking a language natively? Nothing. Nothing at all. And any devoted, devoted polyglot will do it. But if you don't know slang, you can never say that you speak a language natively. It's a pretty interesting discussion. Because no one talks about me. I speak native Spanish, but no one talks about me. But everyone talks about Kulsika because they love him so much. 
Well, what can I say? What can I say? I just say that I wonder if Lucica or Stu Cherry are so good with colloquial and slang because that's a very important part of learning a language so you guys don't forget about this see you guys then